Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco oh! and welcome to my channel. As for this video we have a follow-up or kind of a finally finally a statement from AMD actually telling us what's wrong or what's going to happen with RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 cards because we all know that public relations inside AMD are kind of messed up and they were they kind of always were but they always again it, it's that same thing it's it seems like they want people to kind of freak out because we know that there's lot, lots of people that will freak out for the minimal thing uh, while some some others maybe just go on a more mature way to look at it uh, or maybe they try to analyze it before going nuts some people just like this they just go nuts and that's why brands need to be careful in their statements thing that doesn't really happen with AMD and that's why they always keep shooting themselves in the foot. Now, AMD releases a statement on the Radeon RX 5000 and 6000 series driver support, game support for new releases to continue. And by the way, this is an article from Video Cards. Don't let your dreams be dreams. So AMD has a follow-up statement addressing confusion surrounding its latest Adrenaline 25.10.2 drivers when the drivers branched out. I made a video about this before and you'll see that I wasn't that wrong. And most of this is damage control, believe me, I know that most of this is damage control, but a part of it isn't. Like today's sponsor, that isn't damage control. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Now let's keep going into it. In its new blog post titled Continued Support for Every Radiant Gamer, AMD explains that two dedicated driver paths now exist, something that we already knew, one for RDNA 1 slash 2 and another one for RDNA 3 slash 4. The company says this separation allows engineers to move faster with new features for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 while maintaining stability for older GPUs. And that's one of the things that I already said before in the previous video because this will also help with stability for the, for the older GPUs, but we'll get there. Now, as for the statement itself, continued support for every Raiden gamer. We've heard your feedback and want to clear up the confusion around the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 25.10.2 driver release. This update introduces two optimized driver paths, one for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2, Radeon RX 5000 and RX 6000 series, and one for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4, Radeon RX 7000 and RX 9000 series. Here's what this means for you. This is not the end of support for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2. Your Radeon RX 5000 and RX 6000 series GPUs will continue to receive game support for new releases, stability and game optimizations, security and bug fixes. Now AMD on their previous post they actually told us that uh, or on the release notes it was actually on the release notes that they would still have um, bug fixes and so on and stability and game optimizations to some degree but then they kind of backtracked and then they said that they will still have day one optimizations and so on so and now yeah we have more of the same we now have game support for new releases but again they don't really say game optimizations for new releases. They say game support for new releases. It means that if you go into your drivers, your adrenaline software will see that you are playing that new game. So it will recognize the new game. Doesn't really mean that you'll get more performance. Then we have stability and game optimizations. Again, older generations like RDNA 1 and RDNA 2, they're already quite squeezed. There's so much anyone can optimize. Being being on a software level, because the hardware is already designed, on a software level there's so much you can do to optimize a certain GPU architecture. You can't really keep optimizing forever. Now, there are some scenarios for some games that come out that you can indeed still optimize a bit. And I believe that's what AMD will do. St 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 <laughs> the stability and game optimization, sorry. And then the security and bug fixes, which is one of the things that they said from the release notes already that they would still be uh, delivering security and bug fixes. And and yeah, the maintenance mode sounds quite bad, but if, uh, if you think about it, well, maintenance means that you won't get new features. It doesn't really mean that you will stop getting drivers. But yeah, people, again, people overreact a lot. And I know this is damage control but they do, AMD does 
tend to phrase their things poorly. And that's why this happens. Now, the difference is that these products now benefit from a dedicated, stable driver branch, one built on years of tuning and optimization. This approach helps deliver a smoother, more consistent experience for your games while insulating previous generation GPUs from rapid changes designed for newer architectures. And this is one of the things, and remember I made a video about it, when the drivers are always combined, when the drivers are all combined, what happens is that sometimes you bring new features for the newer GPUs and that coding for the new features for the new GPUs kind of breaks older features for, for the older GPUs or break older GPUs experiences and that's what you don't really want. You don't want that. They won't have new features, but at the same time, they will keep being stable because they, they won't mess around with the code. They just keep, they will just keep improving upon that same code while RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 will get the new features. This means that if RDNA 3 is not on the previous branch, it means that it will get FSR 4 and it will most likely get machine learning frame generation as well. But yeah, you need to read between the lines, I guess. <laughs> Why we're doing this? Our goal is simple, to give every Radeon gamer the best experience possible. By separating the code paths, our engineers can move faster with new features for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4, again, new features implying that RDNA 3 will get new features, while keeping RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 stable and optimized for current and future games. And again, I talked about this in the previous video before AMD said anything, so I'm not here defending anyone, I'm just saying what it is. And yeah, I'm really glad that this happens, but again, AMD keeps shooting themselves in the foot because of the way they show things to the public. They need to be more careful, they need to, to speak properly, and they need to see the things that they are releasing before releasing. It seems that they, sometimes they kind of rush things out and then things like these happen, and they shouldn't. But anyway, our commitment. We've supported Radeon gamers for generations and that commitment isn't changing. Whether you're gaming on an RX 5000, RX 6000 or the latest RX 9000, you will continue to get reliability, performance and care you expect from AMD. Yeah, now this, this, this phrase is damage control. <laughs> because we're all part of the same gaming community and every Radeon gamer matters. And that's basically it. If you guys were having doubts or so, or something, because most most people were actually, well, they actually look things at in, in the brightest way. That's always the, the thing that I do. Sometimes people think that I'm defending the brand or something, but I am not. I just always look at the things from the most positive way that I can. And that's why usually people think think that I'm kind of overhyping or that I'm that I'm overreacting or maybe that I'm defending someone, but that's not entirely the case. I'm looking things uh, on the bright side. And that's what most people did. And well, people understood that maintenance mode doesn't really mean that you won't really have more graphics. It means that, uh, yeah, you won't really get new features. And it seems that the statement that we have now actually confirms that. But yeah, most of this, again, most of this is, is damage control because they saw what the community said and they, I believe that the maintenance mode would be something like uh, every other month they would release a new driver, but maybe they wouldn't be releasing drivers uh, on par with the RDNA 3 ones. But now that the community actually complained, they are releasing both RDNA 2 and RDNA 4 drivers at the same time, uh, maybe even, even in the same package. But yeah, it's interesting to see how things change. Actually, I believe that uh, NVIDIA also changes sometimes when people complain, and I know that in the previous video I said that complaining doesn't really help, but some, sometimes it does. Well, I actually said in the previous video that sometimes it does, like it did with the FMF. But uh, it, it actually is interesting that NVIDIA also heard people when the, the fiasco of the 4080 was there, um, for example, the 4080 12 gigabytes, and they kind of backtracked and then went with 4070 Ti. Um, but in some case scenarios, they don't backtrack at all. For example, frame generation with the RTX 4000 series. It was possible to do with the RTX 3000 series, and we have an engineer talking about that because the RTX 3000 series also have the optical flow accelerator so they can run frame generation. Yet, Nvidia locked the frame generation to the RTX 4000 series and multi-frame generation, it was locked as well to the RTX 5000 series. 
So with Nvidia, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but with the AMD, it seems to work more often, like it worked with AFMF. Now it is working on this, uh, and it worked in many other things like FSR, because uh, people were complaining that FSR wasn't working with cards like the, the, um, the RX 5000 series, the Vega cards, and then AMD actually made it open source for everyone to use it. Even Vega, a <laughs> Nvidia, frame generation the same, I mean, it is what it is. It does seem that AMD listens more to the community, and that's fine. But yeah, I hope they don't shoot themselves in the foot often because they were on the right track and they, well, they kind of lost the confidence of the consumers uh, with this one. They should have watched it better before releasing it. But well, now you see we have the statement and now we have Nino. Nino is my dog, by the way, running around like chick 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 chick. And yeah, that's it. You'll keep getting drivers for RDNA and RDNA 2. You won't get new features, but you'll get driver support, bug fixes and so on. And on the bright side, since you are not introducing new features, you will have a more stable experience and mostly with more fixes. I mean, the 25.10.2 drivers are the drivers that can, these drivers, these ones actually, the ones that have already separated branches, they already have a fixed issue for the RX 6000 series. The new features and the new, the new UI changes aren't there, but at least they have fixed issues for the RX 6000 series. So AMD wasn't lying on that regard, it seems. Um, but yeah, it also means that RDNA 3 again will, will most likely have FSR 4, maybe even FSR Redstone with machine learning frame generation and so on, FMF 3 and so on and so on, which is great to be honest. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. By the way, this is my new microphone with my new microphone arm. Hope the sound is okay. It is actually one of the best microphones around, the Shure SM7B. But yeah, I need still to equalize it and see if it sounds right or not because it's my first time recording on it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Cheers.